Watch you guys got another video on how to stop drivers from downloading and installing on your computer. Now whether you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11, you can use this method to basically stop uh, drivers from downloading and installing on your PC. Now whether you want to download these automatically or download these manually, once you set this into place, you will not be able to update these drivers. So bear that in mind once this policy is set in place. The best thing to do is make sure you download all of the drivers that you want to download and install them on your PC. So make sure you get which versions you want to get and install them on your PC because once we set these policies in place, you will not be able to update your drivers until this policy has been removed from your PC. So let's go ahead. I'm going to quickly install, say, my graphics card driver on the version that I want to run and I don't want it updating anymore. And this is what you're going to need to do to basically. Uh, stop any sort of driver coming down in Windows updates or automatically in the background or even if you go off manually to that website and try to download the driver and install it it's not going to allow you to install. Now there's many reasons why people want to prevent the installation of device drivers on their PC so this is for you guys that want to do it. First off let's right click on the start button and go to device manager. Inside here you will have all of device manager drivers listed in here. So you can go to whatever driver you want here, right click on it and go properties and you can scan it and make sure you're fully updated. You can also go to the manufacturer's website and download all the chipset drivers from there and install them on that computer. Once you want to disable a particular driver, right click on it here. Let's just say we're going to be doing the display driver, right click on it and go to properties. So inside here, you're going to see our NVIDIA uh, driver. This could be AMD or NVIDIA, but inside here, you want to go to where it says details. Inside the details area, once inside this area, look inside property here and go to hardware IDs. Select this, and this will give you a list of the values that are available. Normally, the top two are the ones you are interested in. We're going to be going for the second one here, which normally covers the generic drivers for this particular device. So let's go ahead and right click on this and we need to copy this particular uh, driver value here. So let's go ahead and copy that. Now that's in the clipboard here. What we need to do now is go to our start button and type search for GP edit. You will need to be running Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro for group policy. I will show you another method in the registry. So once you're there, we're going to go to this location right here, which is in Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System, and then Device Installation. And then we want to go to Device Installation Restrictions. Inside here, we're looking for the Prevent, the Prevent Installation of Devices that Match Any of These Device IDs. We've already copied the Device ID, so we're going to go inside here and open this up so we can prevent any sort of update for this particular Device ID that we've uh, copied. So let me just open this little box here. Inside here, you're going to see a not configured box and you'll have enabled and disabled. Let's go ahead and enable this feature. Once that's enabled, we can then come down to the bottom where it says also apply the matching devices that are already installed. So go ahead and put the check mark inside that little box there. And uh, once we've done this, click on the show uh, tab which is just up above here. Click on this one here. A little box will pop up. Now inside here, we can now put in our device ID that we copied. So just double click on this and this will allow us to put in the actual text inside here. So let's right click and paste this in. Now remember what I said earlier, once you've set this policy in place, it is not going to be able to update your graphics card. So the, the actual driver in there will be always the same. It's never going to update until you change this policy. So just bear that in mind. So through Windows updates, you won't get an update for your graphics card. Uh, if you went to the actual website and downloaded it, manually installed it, it's not going to install. And also, if you had it uh, through the GeForce experience, it's not going to update either. So just bear that in mind once you set that policy in place. Now, what if you want to block all of the drivers for your devices. Well, go into system device inside device manager and we're looking for the chipset drivers. And on this board, it's AMD, 
SM bus. This is the one we need here for the chipset drivers. Now yours could say AU, AMD, Intel, Nvidia, VIA, SIS, or any of those, and you will see chipset drivers right there, and you can block them if you want to. Now remember, you are not going to be able to update any of these drivers once this policy is in place. And once we select hardware ID, we're going to be selecting the second one here. Uh, but this is the one we're going to do. You don't have to do it for every single one of these. You only have to do it for one. And we're going to be choosing the second option. So let's copy this option to our clipboard. And once we've done this, we can go back to our group policy. So we're going to go inside here. We're going to click show. And inside the show box, we can put another value inside here. So once you paste this in and click OK and paste it in here, this is going to be setting this policy not to update any of the chipset drivers, which will be basically all of the device drivers on that motherboard, uh, which are slotted in. So it will do everything. So once we've got this done, we can apply this and OK. And I'll show you what happens when you actually do this to your computer. So you can see now I know what people are going to be saying in the comment section. Why would you want to do this? There's loads of people that like doing this and there's also companies that do this also. So if you don't understand and you don't want to do it, then just leave it well alone. This is for people that actually want to do it. So let's go ahead and go into the registry here and I'll show you where you can do it in the registry. H key local machine software. Open this up right down here. And what we're looking for here is policies. We're trying to find the policies one here. So right down here, we should see policies. There we go. Open this up, then go into Microsoft. Once we open Microsoft up, we are now looking for where it says Windows. Open this one up again. And what we're looking for here is device install. And if we open this up, you should now see restrictions inside here. So click on the restrictions folder. There we go. And on the right hand side, you will see a bunch of different restrictions here. Now, the ones you're seeing here are the ones that have been set by group policy, but you would need to uh, create these yourself inside the registry if you don't have Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. To do that, right click, hit click on uh, new D Word 32 bit value and give it the names you see here deny device IDs and deny device DS uh, re retroactive inside there and then give them a value of one. Also, down in the lower one here, you will see the policy deny device IDs, and this is a policy set to one. And you can see we've set it to chipset. So right click and you can do string value and you will be able to add in your string value. Yes, it's a load more headache to do it this way, but this is what the benefit of having a pro version of Windows is. So here you would give it a value of one. And again, you would have to give it uh, the correct hardware ID right here. So once you've put the hardware ID inside here, you would then be able to uh, block that particular value. And if you want to block something else, you can do number two, number three, and so on and so on. If you look at the registry key here, if you create your own registry key, you can see here, you would have to add the value right in here. And you have to give it the values that you're seeing here to add these values in when you can do it with one click. So unless you know how to set up your own uh, registry keys, then you probably have to do this manually. But you can see we have got a registry key here that's going to set this value inside our registry. So whatever way you do it, I would personally just upgrade to the pro version of Windows, which makes it a lot easier. And it's only about 12 to $13 is worth upgrading. Once you've applied these policies, you will see something looking like this in device manager. These are not errors. They are actually still functioning and working perfectly fine. It's just that we've disabled uh, the actual driver update policy inside here. And it's given us this little yellow triangle here. So you can see here, if you try to search for updates, it will say the installation of this device is forbidden by the system policy. Contact your system administrator. This is because we've set a policy where it's not allowed to update the actual driver for these policies that we've set in place. This will be for our chipset and also our graphics driver right here. If you try to update them, it's not going to allow you to do it. Okay. So if you want to also look on your desktop, right click on your desktop and go to display. And uh, let's go to display uh, settings here. And you'll see in the display settings on the resolution 
this is now grayed out. It's going to stop you from uh, messing around with this because the policy has been set in place. And this is what it does. It basically locks it down. In also inside your control panel, if you've done your graphics driver, you will not get access to the control panel because this is now locked down to stop the uh, drivers from being updated. And this will be locked down by your administrator, which is yourself who has set that policy. So before you start jumping into this and disabling all these driver updates, there is a side effect to it. But if you're one of these people that don't want to be disturbed with updates or anything like that, then this policy is great for that particular type of thing. If you want to remove these policies, make sure you remember what you did. And then you can also just remove them by deleting these policies here. You won't be able to save it or you can just disable or not configure, set it to not configure. And this will then go away, as you can see here. So set it to not configured, apply it and OK. And once you've done this and you go back to the device manager, you'll see it's not configured here now. If we go back to device manager, you may see the screen go black temporarily. This is because the policy is being removed from the graphics uh, driver that we set in place. And we should now go back to the way it was before. Let me just go back to device uh, manager here and you should see the policy has been removed. If I refresh the registry here, let me just quickly refresh here. I'm going to go up here and refresh and you'll see these will disappear. And that's because we've turned the policy off. So that is how you can remove the policy. Now, if we go back into device manager here, you can see the devices are now functioning the way they should be, which is receiving updates for those drivers during the Windows updates and also in the background. So that is basically how you can prevent any sort of device driver from being installed on your computer and being updated. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.